Okay, diving headfirst into this list and starting off at number 10, we've got Bubble Launcher, which as the name might suggest, has one key mechanic behind it. All of your icons are placed into these nicely animated circles, and the order they're presented in is roughly alphabetical from the top left to the bottom right, so it makes it fairly easy to navigate. You then hold down the screen if you want to open up the customization menu. Fair warning though, and the reason this isn't higher up on the list, customization is very limited. You're pretty much limited to changing the size of the bubbles and changing the wallpaper. Moving up, in ninth place, we've got Textual Launcher. And again, this is another one of those where the name kind of gives it away. It is very much a launcher focused on practicality. There is next to no visual flair here, and all your applications are words rather than icons. Nonetheless, it is surprisingly fast to navigate once you get the hang of it, and rather generous to your battery life. The next one is a curious launcher, because whilst most Android home screens try to give you a base that you can build your own perfect setup on, Strip Launcher almost decides it all for you. The caveat of that is that you don't get much in the way of customization, but then the upside is that everything just works. And you've got pretty much everything that most people would want. You've got an app drawer, you've got widgets, you've got a music player, it's all here. As we're moving up the list, we've got a couple of really great apps that, whilst you can't call them launches in their own right, can enhance your existing setup. The first one being Sesame, which is a really fantastic all-in-one search bar. So you could be using whatever launcher you feel comfortable with, place this on top of your screen, and all of a sudden you've got a search bar that actually learns from you and creates all sorts of very interesting, very unique shortcuts that genuinely make your life faster. Arguably even better than this is the Gina Draw, which is an application drawer replacement. So you can slap this into a setup on any launcher and you get not the prettiest app drawer, but almost definitely the most functional. You get everything from automatic app sorting to being able to fine tune the way it looks. Not to mention it is packed with these little surprises, like being able to sort for only the apps you paid for, or only the ones that are not in a folder. You can get it to suggest games you might want to play, or you could even dig into some pretty heavy duty app usage stats. Whilst it's pretty atypical in the way it looks and works, for a certain kind of person, Peak Launcher will be the fastest way you can navigate your Android phone. You just start typing into your dial pad and almost every application, setting and even contact becomes a couple of clicks away. HTC's Sense Home is not an application that you can find on the Play Store with most phones, but it's surprisingly easy to sideload and is, in my opinion, one of the better looking, slicker, faster launchers out there. It's one of those ones that a lot of people never think to install on their phones, but once you have it on your device, you rarely will want to switch to anything else. And of course, you get Blink Feed as well as all the HTC themes bundled in. All right, now we're getting into the top three, and in third place is Pear Launcher. Now, in some ways, this is less exciting than previous ones in that it's quite a standard launcher. It's quite a trying to please all kind of launcher. It's not got some really unique characteristic about it, but it's got a sprinkle of new ideas, which I do like. You've got an up-to-date Android P style dock at the bottom. You've got the option to have folders within your app drawer, which is something I really wish more launchers would start to adopt. And not to mention really fast, really responsive gestures, such as being able to double tap the screen and for it to then turn off. Number two, and something you'll again struggle to find on the Play Store, is Flow Home. It has almost all the features of more traditional launchers, the abilities to customize, the abilities to add widgets, but they're just presented in a very different, unique way. Your primary home screen is just a combination of cards showing you your current notifications which if you think about the reasons you should actually be using your phone, notifications make sense to be right at the forefront. And all the widgets you want to put on your home screen can be shown and disabled within one tap. Okay, so in this whole list, my favorite is Year Launcher, something which can be quite overwhelming when you first open it because there's a lot going on here. You've got a screen on the left, which gives you quick access to little toggles as well as recent applications. But the primary element here is that the Year Launcher tries to adapt based on your mood. So you can switch between the mode when you're at the gym, the mode when you want to play games, the mode when you're just lounging around at home. And if you want, you can even set it up so the launcher will automatically change these moods for you based on certain triggers. Alright guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, if you could smash that subscribe button down below, that would really be appreciated. A lot of effort does go into these videos. My name is Aaron, this is Mr. Who's the Boss, and I'll catch you guys next time.